Okay, here we go, 26, the final question of the paper, um, and it's on vectors. So we've got our quadrilateral here, not drawn accurately. Um, OA is the vector 3A, and OB is the vector 6B. And for part A, we're asked to express the vector AB in terms of A and B. So what is this vector here? So I'm starting at A, and I want to end up at B. Now, if we use what we've been given, I would like to go this way, and then this way. Now, if I start at A and I want to end up at O, I'm not going in a vector, I'm not traveling the vector 3A, I'm going in the opposite direction, so I need to travel minus 3A. So minus 3A. So from A to O is minus 3A, and then I want to go up from O to B, which is 6B. So minus 3A plus 6B, or in other words, 6B. B minus 3A. So fairly straightforward for the first mark. Now X is the point on AB such that AX to XB is in a ratio 1 to 2. So AX is one part, XB is two parts. Um, prove that BY equals, or the vector BY equals 5A minus B. Sorry, I'm told that BY equals 5a minus b and i'm told to prove that ox equals two fifths of the vector oy so really what i want to work out first is what is the vector ox so ox i want this vector here now i already know what this vector is here and um, we've worked that out that is a 6b minus 3a so to get at OX is the same as OA plus AX. So OX is equal to uh, OA. OA plus AX plus AX. And AX we already, uh, we know AB. AX will be one third of AB. So OA is 3A. And AX is one third of AB. So plus one third of the vector AB. And we've worked out AB. AB is 6B minus 3A. So that equals 3A plus one third of 6B minus 3A, which equals 3A plus 2B minus A, which equals 2A plus 2B. So OX we now know is 2a plus 2b 2a plus 2b and we're trying to um we so we've got ox now we need oy oy this vector here so from here to here i need this vector but i don't quite have that vector yet um but what i do know is i know ob and by so OY, let's change this now, different color. Uh, the vector OY, OY, this vector here, is the same as OB plus BY. OB plus BY. Now, OB we've worked out is 6b, or we were given 6b and by is 5a minus b 5a minus b which will equal 5a plus 5b Okay, so what is two-fifths of OY? 
two fifths of O Y equals two A plus two B. So dividing by five and then timesing by two, two A plus two B. And you can see that O X So that implies that OX, which we worked out earlier on, OX, this, is equal to two-fifths of OY. Hence, we've proven it. Okay, hopefully you found this video useful, um, uh, this collection of videos. Um, all the best for the exams, and we'll see you again sometime.